To have faith or believe in any form of religion is to have confident belief in an unquestioned and unexamined set of mythical rules. Blindly trusting a mythical, racist, sexist, genocidal, murderous, slave-trading, warmongering, divine madman. What is truly magical is humanity itself. Knowledge, the sight of less gaps, less emptiness, is the side in which blanks are filled with science, learning, or just plainly the words we don't know, but we will find out. Your religion is another excuse to secretly despise that infidel that doesn't wear the right symbol of death around his neck, the one who dares to sip a glass of wine or hasn't enough candles on the window sill. Religion is another lame excuse to discriminate, separate, eliminate, castrate, violate, annihilate all those who choose to liberate their minds from the dark veil of ignorance. Oh, keep all your reasons. Remember one name, Aisha. I've heard the justifications wrapped up in the insinuations, living in the past, some sort of nostalgic fantasy awaiting the return of Salah al-Din, ya Mujahideen, murder al-Murtaddin, al fasikin who oppose your regime. Submit or die by stoning, purify the guilty from their inhuman sins. The stones are picked not too big, not too small. Pain is your purification, pain is the justification, pain is the revelation, the sacred doctrine bombarded with rocks marked in blood. Submit or die, born of a bent rib of Adam, women have been given less of a mind, less faith. Take pity on them, they say. But if they dare to disobey, sympathize no more. Chastise, criticize, dehumanize, ostracize the mother of your living sons and the daughters that are buried under your feet. You have traded fear for love, oil for blood, brilliance for religion, humanism for nationalism. Widen those big brown eyes and lift your gaze from the ground. You have watched it long enough, walking through life, blind, deaf, and heartless. Submit? No. Willful ignorance is intolerable, unacceptable, insupportable, inadmissible. I will not submit. I choose freedom.